What's going on everybody? About time we're on the water with the 8900 tune this time and we're gonna try this with the regular 91 octane gas set of E85 what this is this tune requires E85. However, we're gonna try it without it and see what happens. We're warming up in touring mode at the moment. Been idling for about a minute now. Hopefully we can beat these thunderstorms. I'm gonna try this one out. See how it performs. Let me go in touring mode first because it was acting weird touring. All right, let's go. Oh, we have the uh, 1217 impeller on as well. All right, no differences in touring mode, felt the same. Now, this is where it matters in sport mode. Oh, I think it's actually storming over there. So we're going to try this in sport mode. It's actually a really weak takeoff. I'll show you the speeds. All right, miles per hour. Let me click it up twice. Oh, not that high. Right there. So, not a good hole shot. Let's try the, uh, well, not good top speed. Let's try the hole shot. Put it back up. All right, go back. Not bad. Very weak. Very, very weak. Oh, oh yeah, that's rich. I can smell it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Not good. All right, for science, I did it. put the 8900 tune on without the E85 fuel. I'll tell you that much right now. We hit a top speed of 47. We also have no hole shot whatsoever, which I'll show one more time. That is worse than stock. Or rough, roughly equivalent to stock. The impeller. Slow roll, not really that good. Anyways. There's a guy with the tricks right here that I've seen last year a couple times. Anyways, I'll uh, show my findings and we're going to tune this and get back on the water with the regular 91 octane 8600 tune and see how it performs with the 1217. 
hopefully it's better than a 12.15 with the whole shot, maybe not top speed, but we'll see in a couple minutes here. Actually in the next video for you guys. Anyways, take it easy. See you in the next one.